Hello students, welcome to Learner's Planet. Well, in today's session, we are going to discuss about some interesting aspects of the process of respiration. See, uh, while answering in your exams, generally you get confused between the process of respiration and the process of breathing. What is actually asked over there uh, is very clear, whether it's respiration or it is breathing. But the things or the basic uh, differences between the two are quite, uh, we can say they are intermixable or we can say they are quite comparable. Right? So we get confused that which part will come under the breathing process and which will come under the respiration process. So in today's session, we are just going to briefly explain the differences between the process of respiration and the process of the breathing. Although these two are related to the respiratory system and they occur uh, in an interdependent manner. None of the process is independent. Right? Let us say how? Because let us say what is this breathing means here? Breathing is a process of exchange of gases. Right. You must be knowing it. Since your childhood or very early classes, we are studying about the process of breathing and we always study, our teacher always explain this point that breathing is a process in which we are going to inhale the oxygen and we are exhale out the carbon dioxide. Right. This we are talking about human beings or the aerobic organisms. Now, in this case, as we are saying there is a oxygen is released out and carbon dioxide is taken I'm, I'm sorry oxygen is taken inside and the carbon dioxide is released out so actually what is there is there any filter uh, uh, in our uh, nose or nasal cavity or somewhere that out of entire air we are only taking inside the oxygen or is there any filter further than air through which we are exhaling out the carbon dioxide only no it's not like this actually what happens is we are breathing in the air and after going in your lungs, in your alveolar sac, the uh, oxygen being in being higher in concentration, it gets diffused inside. Inside what? Inside the bloodstream. Got it? So in this case, the exchange will take place. Ex where this exchange is taking place? At the alveolar membrane. Got it? So through this membrane, the oxygen and the oxygen is transported into the blood and then further the uh, oxygen is supplied somewhere at the target site. Right? Besides that, what else happens? The carbon dioxide from the blood comes into the alveolar air. And while exhaling, the air will move out and this air is actually carrying more uh, concentration of the carbon dioxide. Right? This is what happens in the process of breathing. Alternatively, in respiration, of course, this exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide is required. Basically, through the breathing process, the oxygen is transported into the bloodstream and through this bloodstream, the oxygen will reach the target site where it is used for the oxidation of food material. Right? And during this reaction, that is the oxidation of food or the oxidation of glucose, carbon dioxide is released and the carbon dioxide is transported through the blood uh, to the uh, alveolar sac. Right? And over there, now this carbon dioxide is released out. Now you can imagine if this breathing is not taking place, right? Then how the uh, oxygen will be available for the process of respiration or the oxidation? It's not possible. Isn't it? Now, alternatively, another thing is also true. If this oxidation is not taking place, then carbon dioxide is not going to uh, diffuse out into the alveolar air. Isn't it? So, this uh, uh, exchange occurs because of the differences of the concentration of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the alveolar sac, uh, in the alveolar air and the bloodstream. Now, this is the basic uh, uh, difference of the uh, process. Now, what happens, what further more differences are there between respiration and breathing? Let us just summarize it in the form of a table. Now, this is even commonly asked question in your exams also, isn't it? You must have uh, gone through your uh, sample papers of somewhere. Uh, there, he, This is a question which is commonly asked. Right. Now, just to give you hint, or you let us just give you the points with justification. Fine. Okay. Now, the first thing is breathing. So, breathing is basically what? It is a physical process. Whereas, this respiration is a biochemical process. How can we justify this point? Why it is a physical process, breathing? 
Breathing is physical process because in this there is no chemical conversion taking place. It is just a process of diffusion. Right. And diffusion is considered as a physical process. So breathing is considered as a physical process as these, uh, uh, there is no uh, uh, con uh, chemical conversion taking place. Fine. Alternatively, in the process, process of respiration, when this gas has been exchanged, then it is utilized for the process of oxidation. Uh, which type of reaction occurs in such oxidation? Over there, uh, we can say uh, the glucose molecules. They react with the oxygen and they are converted into carbon dioxide and water. You must have read about the uh, this uh, equation. We, uh, so in that case, the entire glucose is converted to carbon dioxide and water. So, so this is actually an example of uh, aerobic uh, uh, process or the aerobic respiration. Right. Uh, even if it is anaerobic respiration, even there, there is the conversion of glucose into some other moiety along with the carbon dioxide. That means there might be some in, uh, uh, incomplete oxidation will occur. But definitely, respiration is always linked to chemical changes or in the uh, in chemical changes in the body or in the cell, or simply it is a biochemical reaction. Fine. Uh, next is breathing is merely a merely an exchange of gases. And this we have actually justified uh, when we were discussing uh, the introduction slide here. Isn't it? So how this exchange of gases is taking place? The exchange is actually taking place at the alveoli, the membrane of the alveoli. Now you know why this exchange is possible only at the, this particular site of the respiratory system? The question must come in your mind. Isn't it? This is because uh, this uh, there are some characteristic features which are going to accelerate the process of the uh, uh, diffusion. Fine. So over there, uh, since this alveolar membrane is very thin, number two, it is quite moist, right? Uh, beside that, uh, it is uh, it is supported by or it is uh, supplied with many blood capillaries, and uh, again, this blood capillary it is having thin membrane, so exchange becomes possible. And beside this, now you, if you assume your own body size, isn't it? And this exchange site is limited to your respiratory system. So, of course, large area is required. And to increase this large area, uh, or we can say to increase this particular area, respiratory surface, what happens? The uh, millions of alveoli unit are present in the, within the lungs. So, we can say this is the reason, these are basic points why the exchange of gases occurs only in the al at the alveolar membrane. It is not in the uh, bronchi, it is not in the trachea or in your nose or anywhere. Isn't it? It is where? Only at the alveoli. Reason is very clear. Now, further, in the case of respiration, what happens over there? Respiration, it's a process which of course it is, uh, it begins with the exchange, that is the breathing part only and further it includes the oxidation. Uh, by mistake I have written here oxidation of gases, actually it should be exchange of gases and oxidation of glucose. So we can make this correction here right now. Uh, further, the process of breathing is confined only up to respiratory system. That means the exchange is a main uh, uh, function played which is uh, uh, which is actually it's a main function of your respiratory system. Right. Uh, then further where this respiration process it occurs in each and every cell of the body. That means the gases which are exchanged here in the respiratory system they have to be transported to each and every part of your body. How is it possible? It is possible only through the transporting medium. So, which part of your body is playing uh, uh, playing important role in this particular process? That is, of course, your blood. Now, in the blood also, the RBCs are present, that is, red blood cells are present, in which the pigment, that is, hemoglobin, is present. So, this hemoglobin is actually carrying this oxygen and is transporting it to the target site. So, in this way we can say this transport occurs and the reaction occurs in each and every cell of the body but exchange of gases occurs only in the respiratory system. Fine. Now, further, breathing is an extracellular process while respiration is an intracellular process. What does this mean? It means that the uh, gases which are taking place exchange, it is just a, a surface phenomena. 
Got it? It is not that it is in, it takes place inside the cells of alveolar membrane. Got it? It is just a, a membrane through which the transportation occurs without any chemical change. Beside this, in the case of respiration, uh, the uh, oxygen which is supplied by uh, uh, this uh, uh, blood, now that uh, uh, it will come out into the tissue fluid, it will diffuse out into the at the target site of course, it will uh, it is diffused out into the target, uh, I'm sorry, the surrounding tissue fluid. From the tissue fluid, it is now further diffused inside the cells. Now inside the cells, initially the process begins as the glycolysis during which glucose is oxidized to pyruvate. Then further in the mitochondria, the pyruvate is further converted to carbon dioxide and the water. Now point is that where this mitochondria is present, where the cytoplasm is present, all these are the part of cell. Right? So this is the reason why we say that respiration is the intracellular process. Because the reaction of course it occurs inside the cell. Where? Partly in cytoplasm, that is glycolysis, and partly in your mitochondria. Next point is breathing. Uh, in this case, the enzymes are not involved. Right? Why? Because there is no chemical reaction. What are enzymes? Enzymes are biocatalysts. That means these are the uh, catalysts or the chemical molecules, uh, the proteins of course, which accelerates the rate of reaction. Now, since in breathing there is no uh, reaction, uh, there is no reaction taking place here, so it, the involvement of enzymes is not directed here. It is not involved. It is not uh, uh, involved in this process. Uh, whereas in respiration, uh, it includes the glycolysis as well as your uh, uh, Krebs cycle, then your electron transport chain. So all these occurs in a series of chemical reaction, and each chemical reaction essentially requires a particular enzyme. For each reaction there is a specific enzyme. So in this case the enzymes are essentially and specifically required. Now during the process of breathing uh, the energy is not released out. Rather we can say in this case the energy is utilized for the uh, contraction uh, of, of these uh, rib muscles and your diaphragm muscles. Uh, muscles which are uh, linked with these particular organs so that the mechanism or the breathing can take place right but directly in the process the energy is not released out in the case of respiration 38 ATP molecules are generated and this formation of ATP is only possible when the energy is available so the, in this case the energy is released glucose is oxidized to carbon dioxide and water so from this particular point you can make out that this is an uh, this is a catabolic reaction and whenever there is a catabolic reaction the energy is released out in the other form we can say that whenever the molecule is broken down to simpler form there is the release of energy so this is why we can say that in the process of respiration energy is of course released Right. So these are some of the points uh, which you can write in your exams uh, when this question is asked. The differentiate between the process of breathing and the respiration. So further, we will come back with some new sessions, some new difficulties that we generally face while answering in our exams. So till then, just enjoy and have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank you so much.